In this little tutorial, I'm going to show you about posable cemetery. It's in the transform here and activate the uh, cemetery here. And we got use posable cemetery. When I select this button here, we're going to look up here in the left hand corner and it's going to let us know um, if it's posable. So we're going to go to the transform here and then we're going to press use posable. And I'll keep an eye up on the left hand corner when I select this. It says cemetery result 0% cemetery points found cemetery map was not stored um, so it's telling me I can't use posable on this so the way that we can fix this is we can come down to unify all right then we're gonna make this a unified skin we're gonna come up here and select a skin here then we're gonna go to the transform we're going to repeat the process and check it again. Alright, this is going to take a little bit of time on this one here. And give it a few more seconds. Alright, um, get the same error. Alright, um, it cannot be found. So. Um, most of these default ones will work the first time around, but this one won't. This is why I'm using this one as a demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone down the resolution a little bit. Let's say, just kick it down and make my skin again. All right, I'm going to select that new one. I usually move my slider all the way to the right. That will select the new one here. We go to the transform here. Activate this and use possible cemetery. Look up in the corner now, it says, cemetery result, full cemetery found. Okay, now we can use um, the Pulsable Cemetery. As you can see, now it's grayed out, now we can delete it if we want to. But, uh, I lost my mesh. I kind of lined it like the original one, the way it looked. So we'll go to Subtools. We're going to pin, and then we're going to append that cylinder. Um, then, once we got that there, I'm going to use the project all. I'm going to crank the distance up quite a bit and project all. Alright. There's the cylinder here. Let's go ahead and uh, delete this one. And there's our new posable one right here. So if we go to the transform here, you can see we can delete it. Or we can turn it back on. It's saying it's still found. So let's go ahead and move part of this mesh here. We're going to go to move and we'll just move this with the cemetery on. I'm going to press X on the keyboard to turn it off. And pull on this one side here. Now I'm going to turn the cemetery back on. Now look at my cursor on the right side where I'm tapping this little bump here. And look on the left side. Let me change material so it looks a little different here. Alright. See if I look on the right side and look at where the cursor is at on the left side. That means my cemetery is going to work. So if I pull on this, it's going to pull on the other side too. Or if I come on this side, we can pull on both. And you can control Z that. Control Z that again. Now, if we now, as I showed you, with my cursor over here on the right and one over on the left. Now, if we go up the transform and we delete the posable, then when I bring my cursor over on the right, you can see over on the left it's way off the screen. I cannot now. If I bring my cursor on the left, um, everything's out of whack. So now, if I pull on this side here, it's not going to pull on the other side because we don't have posable on. So we go to transform, use posable. And I can pull on this side. Now you can see my cursor is tight against the mesh on the other side, and we can pull. So that's how it works. All right, in this next step, I'm going to show you a little error you might get. Um, we're going to use this dog here. I know the dog's posable. Let's change the color here, material mat. And we're going to use the unified skin and make it a unified skin here. 
move the slider all the way to the right, pick up this again here, transform, activate cemetery, use pulsable cemetery. Um, this time it says mesh composed of uneven number of polygons, top of the ology's base symmetry cannot be established. Alright, switch back to dog here. And this time I'm going to go down to the uh, geometry. And I'm going to turn on Dynamesh. Before I do that, I'm going to use Project. Now you'll get different effects, so um, even with the Project here. So we're going to leave that on, and I'm going to press Dynamesh. All right. Now if I come up here and I try it again, all right, um, it says symmetric results uh, points found, just a small percentage. Um, map was not stored. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and make this unified skin. If something doesn't work, um, move this resolution just a little bit to the left or right and it might solve it. You gotta experiment. We're gonna leave it at default and make the unified skin. And we're gonna select up that new skin here. Move it all the way to the right. Use Pulsable Cemetery. And now you can see it says Cemetery Result Fully Cemetery found on the left hand corner. So once again we're going to come up here the sub tools and we're going to pin the original dog so I want to keep the shape and I like to kick the distance slider all the way up and we're going to project that. Here's the original dog and we're going to delete him. Alright. So now we need to double check one more time. We're going to delete that and we're going to press use Pulsable Cemetery. Alright, now it's telling me it's found. That's good. This is what I want. Alright, this is just in case you got that error. So, um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull on the mesh and X Cemetery. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the move. And I'm going to pull like this. Now if I pull somewhere in the, I'm going to turn the symmetry off with the X. Now when I pull on one side, and you see how the dog is a little tipped here, and I kind of pull on there, then I turn the symmetry back on. Let me straighten it back up like that. Um, you can see it's a little out of whack. Um, the cursor on the right is up in a little bit up to the high right, and the one on the left is to the low left not quite lined up. Uh, one of the reasons why is, I'll control Z that, uh, is because when you pull on it, you need to shift snap it instead of being in, in an angle like this, you need to shift snap it like that so it's in a direct axis. And we're going to turn the um, cemetery off and we're going to pull on one side and we're going to turn the cemetery back on. Now you can see both the cursors are lined directly straight across. They're not one's higher than the other so every time that you pull on here you might want to think about um, not having it an angle All right. so now if I was to pull on it you can see how that works then if we go up here transform and we delete that now when I bring my cursor on the right the one over on the left is um, off on the screen 